Coach, off to a 3-0 and start. Tell us how that's happened. Well, the two, it's funny, the first two games we played, Revere and Danvers, we've struggled over the last three years against them. Revere, we hadn't won in four years. We hadn't beaten them a game. We were playing them twice a year. Danvers, we've beaten Danvers, but not in Danvers, we have not won in the last three years. So we played them in Danvers. It was, we didn't start off well in either game. We got down 11 to two in the Revere game, and the Danvers game, we were down nine to two. And it's funny, the Revere game was our home opener. And you figured the adrenaline and everything, we, we just didn't get off to a good start. We played a much better second quarter. They were like carbon copy games, the first two. Good second quarter where we took the lead in both games. And then third quarter, our defense just stepped up and played exceptionally well. In the Danvers game, we outscored them 15 to four in the third quarter. to kind of opened up the game and you know, carried us from there. The Malden game, we kind of got a good start. Uh, they're not an overly strong team. They're coming, they got a lot of young players. So, uh, I mean, it was a good, everybody got to play. It was, it, was, it was a good thing. Yeah. Coach, I noticed in the Revere game that there were times, and often, you had great ball movement on the team. For for just really your second game, if I'm not mistaken, or yeah. Revere was the first. Revere was the first game, yeah. So, decent ball movement, yeah. Well. You know, this year we got almost three weeks between tryouts and practice because Thanksgiving was early this year. We started a week earlier than we normally would. So we got almost three weeks. So the kids worked hard. And I know at the end of the three weeks, they were tired of beating up on each other. That's for sure. Yeah. You know, playing against each other and whatever. We had a couple of scrimmages, but I think the extra time of practicing uh, helped us a lot to start the season. Yeah. Coach, just give me a thumbnail sketch of you, some of your key players you're counting on this year. Well, our captains, Christina Rossignol and Catherine Manning, who was a, a force last year as a junior. She was our leading everything last year, Catherine. Liz Zaitis, uh, she's a senior. She's the big girl. Yeah. Number 50. I expecting a, she had a big game against Danvers. She did a great job. Danvers got two really big girls. She did a great job. She rebounded well and she scored, which is what we needed her to do. So those three, and then of course we got this freshman that has come out and, and she is, she's not here today because she had a church thing to go to practice, but she's had a phenomenal three games. I mean, she's just, she's untapped welfare. She's used to playing in an unstructured, type environment. She played AAU and they kind of just got the ball and went. But she has excellent skills. She sees the court really well. She's got those long spider arms. She's averaging, in the three games, she averaged almost seven steals a game. Yeah. She's averaging it's 15 or 16 points for the three games. And she's coming off the bench. Yeah. She's not starting. So she has been, without a question, an incredible surprise for us. You know, I watched her, Stan, and she has, she can move with the ball as well as I've seen anyone in high school but girls basketball. Absolutely. And when she, you know, you get steals from one end of the court, and usually get people with breakaway layups, she makes the layups. Yeah. And that's a difficult thing. Making layups is, I know, coached over the years, that's the toughest thing to finish at the basket. That's a great job. I mean, I'm watching her and you think, okay, sometimes maybe you get one or two steps with the dribble, then you lose control or something like that. No, she's but she'll go three-quarter court and finish. It. Yeah. She's just got to learn to play. She's never had been in a structured environment where we're running plays all the way around at times. And just, number one, uh, adapting to her position. When we started tryouts, I didn't know where. She can play anywhere from the one to the five because of her jumping ability, your skills with the ball. So we started her off trying her at the three, and then after about a week of tryouts, I said, you know what, we're going to put her at the two. Yeah. Let her stay there for the season so that she learns all the plays and gets comfortable with everything else. So far, it's worked. She's great. She's, that's a great spot for her. I, I, I totally agree with you. Yep. Now, here's the last question. You're the calmest coach on the bench, on the sidelines I've ever seen. You, that's great. That's from years of coaching. Yeah. 20, 20 years of soccer, and I've coached varsity basketball for this is my fifth year but I've been freshman coach for 18 years so yeah it doesn't do any good the Danvers game I don't know if you heard about that no no 
the Danvers coach got a technical in the game. Pat, he's a great guy. Yeah. He just got upset with the refs. I mean, you have to let the kids play. You have timeouts, halftime after the game. You discuss when went right and wrong. No, I, I mean, I yell a little bit, but I don't, you know, it is what it is. I've learned from all the years of coaching. That, well, you have the right to jump up once in a while. That's okay, I think. But but I it's I will call it refreshingly calm. That's nice. Well, Good. That is. That's, what's the sense of being? Because if you become an opposition to the refs, you're not going to get calls as the game goes on. I mean, it's yeah. just you know you learn this over years of coaching. You know. Exactly. Tracy, come here and say a couple of words <laughs> to Mr. Newell. All right. Tracy, great uh, assistant coach, daughter, right? Yep. Former player at Salem State. Yep. So tell us about this group. The varsity or JV? Varsity? Either Assuming. one. Yeah. The varsity, well, we've got um, a lot of returning players this year. We only graduated three seniors. Um, so a lot of experience, um, you know, and then we really, our, our strong suit is probably our front court. We've got, you know, Liz Zader and Catherine Manning and Amber Karakopoulos who are solid. Um, and then we've got a freshman, yeah. Lucci. I still can't pronounce her last name, I'm sorry. Um, who's just been fantastic for us. I don't know how it's pronounced. It's Okananawa. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So 3 0 starts great. I mean, I don't think we've ever started 3 0 since we've been here. Yeah, good. Uh, and, Dan, you know, Malden wasn't great, but Danvers is a solid team. So that was a really good win for these guys. Yeah.